Pure substances versus mixtures Matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. Everything around us is made up of matter, including us humans. The chair that you sit on, the water that you drink, and the air that you are breathing are made up of matter. Matter may be classified into pure substances and mixtures. Pure substances are further classified as elements and compounds, while mixtures can be solutions, colloids, and suspensions. Elements are composed of only one type of atom. In this example, it is only made up of Na or sodium atoms. Sodium is a very soft, silvery, white metal. On the other hand, when two or more elements are chemically combined, compounds are formed. When sodium bonds with an element chlorine, they form NaCl or sodium chloride which is commonly known as salt. Now let us talk about mixtures. Solutions are combination of two or more compounds. When salt compound physically mix with water compound, they create a seawater solution. Colloids are consisted of particles larger than atoms or ordinary molecules but too small to be visible to the unaided eye. The example is paint. While suspensions are mixtures of liquid or other substances which particles are not dissolved. Water and oil solution is the example in which oil does not dissolve in water. Let us compare your substances and mixtures in terms of particle size. Pure substances have smaller particles while mixtures have larger particles. Combination Pure substances are chemically combined while mixtures are physically combined. Appearance Pure substances are homogeneous or have uniform appearance while mixtures like solutions are also homogeneous but colloids and suspensions are heterogeneous or non-uniform appearance because in colloids the larger particles will settle down to the bottom of water and in suspensions we can easily see their components the upper layer is oil and the lower layer is water in general all pure substances are homogeneous while some mixtures are homogeneous and most are heterogeneous separation technique elements cannot be separated because they only have one type of component compounds on the other hand can be chemically separated through electrolysis electrolysis is the process of separating hydrogen and oxygen in water by using electricity while Mixtures can be separated through physical means. Solutions like seawater can be separated through distillation, which is the process of separating the components of a liquid mixture by using boiling and condensation. Colloids through centrifugation, which is a mechanical process that uses centrifugal force to separate particles and suspensions through decantation which is the process of separating liquid from solid and other non-mixing liquids by removing the liquid layer at the top from the layer of solid or liquid below so only compounds which are pure substances 
can be separated through chemical means, while all mixtures can be separated through physical means. There are ways to determine whether the unknown samples are substance or mixtures. It is by testing their boiling point and melting point. If the unknown samples are liquid, we can test its boiling point to determine which one is a substance or a mixture. Let us label the sample into liquid A and liquid B. During boiling at different times, the temperature of liquid A is the same, while liquid B varies. We can conclude that liquid A is a pure substance, while liquid B is a mixture. Because during boiling, pure substances have fixed or constant boiling point, which is 100 degrees Celsius, while mixtures have different or varying temperature at different times. On the other hand, if the unknown sample is a solid, we can use melting to identify which one is a substance or a mixture. Let us label the sample a solid A and solid B. During melting, solid A melts completely and smoothly within a short period of time, while in solid B, some portions seem to be not melting. We can infer that solid A is a pure substance, while solid B is a mixture. Because pure substances melts completely and smoothly within a short period of time, while mixtures have some portions seem to be not melting.